This time, same beginning. I get here, elbow inside. I rock him up, push. But this time he was able to throw that reverse De La Hiva in, okay? And the knee shield, okay? Here, he's on his side. Very annoying position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my grips, okay? I'm going to grab the outside of his knee. Now I'm going to turn him and get him flat on his back. But for me to do that, I need some kind of leverage. If I just use my hand, it's gonna be kind of difficult and I'm off base. I'm gonna bring this knee under his knee, all right? Now go to get your knee to the mat, you can't. Now I walk back this way and pinch here. I'm driving my hips forward, so I'm trying to touch his heel to his tailbone. I'm going to extend my body, cut over his knee and do like an X pass. Now we're right back where we were before. I try to control his head, he doesn't let me. Perfect. Scroll in and control. So, person on bottom. When I start to turn, you're gonna throw that reverse Delahiva and get the knee short right away. I switch this pan grip to the outside. I bring my knee, turn this way. I bring my knee under. So now I'm trapping his knee between mine. He can't get that knee back to the back. I shift my weight this way and hold here. Notice how I'm crunched up like a ball, not like this. Where he can lasso, he can switch the guard, right? So I stay tight. Now I'm going to push his leg across as I extend mine and I cut over his shin. I'm gonna use this hand to keep this, you know, his shoulder off the mat. So the entire time I'm doing this, right? He's balled up. I don't want this, right? Where he can start to shoulder walk backwards. Yeah. So again, I'm trying to glue his heel to his tailbone. Now I come up, cross over, I step out and pivot. We're right back where we were before. Let go of the pan grip. I try to control his hand. He doesn't let me. Push up. Make sense? One more time or you got it? Do one more time. Yep. So again, same beginning. But he throws that reverse the heel hook. Yeah. Grab the outside. Bring my knee down. Now this hand is going to transition to the inside as I walk. I'm driving my hips forward. I, I'm also pushing this down towards him. If I just push it across, he's gonna be able to follow me with the hook. So I'm pushing it down and now across. Step and pivot. This arm is not out here. Constantly pulling and keeping that shoulder off the mat. If I grab his head, perfect. Make sense? Yeah. So what I'm doing here, when I get to this position, right? I'm not staying balled up like this, where he's carrying my weight. I don't want that for this pass. I want to have my weight with, you know, back, but I'm pulling him towards me. And look how my back is straight and I'm shooting my hips forward. Right, you feel the difference? Oh, yeah. yeah, so this is much tighter than this. Look, I'm off balance. So I'm pulling everything tight here. I have him balled up. I, if I just push this across, he's gonna be able to follow me with his leg. And it's not a slow movement, right? I'm teaching this so you guys can see all the details. So I don't go here. He's gonna kick that leg up and yeah. So when I do it, it's a quick movement. So it's from here, there. So that movement's quick, right? So I have him balled up here. Step out, drop my knee, right? Look how I'm making an X with my hands. So I'm continuously pushing that across until I twist here. Now look how my elbow goes back and I try to control the head. If he lets me, perfect. I just settle. If he blocks the bicep, same thing. We control, push, and then come. Does that make sense? Clean it up a little bit.